Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new video for you guys and this is going to be my back to school supplies haul for 2016. And you guys might be wondering why I'm posting this video so late. And that is because I'm from Canada and here in Canada, schools don't start until early September. So school starts September 6th this year and I don't like to think about like school until late August. So, yeah. So I got two new binders this year. Most Canadian schools have uh, semesters instead of terms, like high schools, but my school still has terms. So I have eight subjects and it's separated into two different days, if you know what I mean. So I have four subjects one day and then the other four subjects the other day. If you guys want to hear like an in-depth description of it, you can go check out my what's in my backpack video for last year. If you guys want an updated one, then just tell me down below and I will love to do that. So I just got two binders because that's the easiest way to to kind of organize the two days. So this is for day one, which is a pink binder, and this is for day two, which is a white binder. So these are from Staples, and these are the better binders. So what's amazing about these binders is that the edges um, are like a rubber, silicone-y kind of material, and that just prevents it from splitting in half, you know what I mean? Binders for me always tend to kind of just break by the end of the year, but these binders don't and I just love them so much. So this is what it looks like. I wish the pink was a little bit lighter, but they didn't have any other pinks besides this color. And yeah, so this is pink and black. And then this one is the white and black. And I think this one looks super sleek, but yeah, so I just got two different binders for this year. So then I got a ton of line paper. I love line paper because I love writing my notes out. Even though at my school we use MacBooks and just like Apple products, I still like writing my notes out because it just helps me memorize the material better instead of typing out the notes. Sometimes if there is a lot to write down and I honestly don't have the time to write it out, then I will type. But usually if I really want to memorize the material well, then I like to write it out. I don't like to write it out in the notebook that I use for the class. I like to write it out on line papers. So once I'm done writing the notes, I can just staple it into like a little package and put it in my binder after I'm done like writing the test, you know what I mean? So before exams, I can take out all the like notes for each unit that I made and review them. So that's a good way for having all my notes at easy reach before exam time because I don't wanna like rewrite all the notes out if you know what I mean. So I got a ton of it and I have one from last year still. So this is the Hillroy 150 ruled sheets and it just looks like this. I'm not really that picky with lined paper so I just buy whatever and usually these in Canada are so cheap. They're less than a dollar, they're like 20 cents or something, 25 cents. A quarter can get you 150 sheets of lined paper guys. Like, Amazing. I went to Staples and I got more lined paper and I got four packs of these 150 sheets of refill paper, lined paper, whatever you call it. So I have some like stationary bits, like writing stuff and like little things, you know what I mean? So I got this Staples little um, mini magnetic stapler and it also has a built-in staple remover. So that's, that's great. And it's just like this pink color. It's not my favorite shade of pink. I prefer like a lighter pink that's more cool tone, but whatever, like it's pink. And then it also comes with with 800 staples that are pink as well and I'm just I'm excited and you know when you're in class and you're waiting for the stapler to be passed around like yeah girl doesn't want to wait so I bought one of these and they're really small and I can just keep it in like a my pencil case probably can't because I'm bringing these ones this year but it's okay I'll just keep it in my bag and I'm obsessed it's so tiny and cute and then I got two packs of these big pencils I thought these were the same, but they're not. These are 0 0.5 and these are 0 0.7. And I prefer 0 0.7 um, over these 0 0.5 ones because I break lead so easily. Like if I'm writing, like I use a lot of fours. I don't know why, like I need to stop. But yeah, I'm gonna try to stop for these pencils because they're really cute because I just love the colors, black, white, pink, and gray. And I got this pack, which comes with black and gray. And it came with five erasers and lead. And then I got this pack, which is 0.7 it comes with a pink and gray set as well as the erasers and lead and i'm excited to use these because my friend says they're really good and whenever i borrow pencils from her these are really good so excited to use these and lastly i got some stuff from muji when i was in beijing in the beginning of summer which makes me really sad because i don't want school to end 
but I got these two little acrylic like pencil cases and at my school these are really popular and I decided to get them and I jumped on the bandwagon really late because people started using them in like grade 9 and I'm going with grade 11 so it's okay um so I just got these and this one looks like this I got some pens from Muji I got this clicky pen and then I got the like cap pens I don't know how to call them I got a pink one and then a black one this pink one I had from before and then these are my favorite pens ever these are the uh, Z grip flight pens and these are like I had these already but then they're new because I got a huge pack of these from Costco last year and I didn't use them up yet so yeah but these are new first pencil case and then the second one because I needed two pencil cases right but anyways um, it opens up like this and I got two of these pencils which are just the clear classic Muji pencils and the Muji white eraser. Then I got some of these studio pencils. I got a black one and a pink one. Well, when my mom got it, it came in like a bunch of colors but I only use the black one and the pink one because all I use is black, white, pink, and gray guys. Like it's insane. I have the pink studio pencil and the black one I'm actually using right now. Uh, for physics online school and uh, by the way I don't do online school I go to a private school but I'm just taking like a course online during the summer a lot of my friends do that and yeah so I decided to do it this summer too and in this little eraser compartment I decided to put this little black eraser I haven't used this yet so it's still in the packaging but really cute and yeah so those are all the little thingies that i got okay so there's a lighting change i use natural lighting it's like more cool tone now moving on i got some folders and i don't want to hold this up because this one's so bright oh i hate this color but i went to the store and these were like the only plastic folders they had and i just i needed one and all the other colors are really bright so i just chose the pink one because the pretty ones are paper folders and i hate paper folders so i got this one it's a neon one and it's plastic. Don't think I like neon guys, like I hate neon so much. Which is really weird because I remember like my freshman year, like grade nine, um, I had a bright pink jeans for a backpack. Like, it wasn't even that long ago, guys. Like, it was like only like two years ago or something. Um, but anyways, so it just looks like this. On the inside it has uh, pockets for like loose sleeve paper uh, without like hole punch. And then it has like the part where you can put hole punch paper. And yeah, I got that, but I really don't like the color of this. But what can you do? I'm just gonna chuck this on my bed. Okay, there we go. <laughs> on the other hand, this folder is so cute. It's just white and pink chevron with a black pointed toe heel, and I think it's so cute. And on the inside, oh, by the way, this is plastic too. I only use plastic folders because like it doesn't break. So on the inside, it just has pockets, and yeah, so. Then I got five like spiral notebooks so these first two are the same and they're from staples and these both have a hundred pages in them and this is basically just a pink chevron notebook it's got this light pink and medium pink chevron on it and it's got um holes in it so you can put it in your binder if you want and yeah i like this a lot the back is white super sleek and the pages look like this the only thing that's a little bit disappointing is that the pages are very thin but like these are the only cute notebooks they had so i just bought two of these so then i got two more of like these ones like the same style but different color so it's just this kind of corally pink which i don't really like but like what can you do so yeah it's just a coral pink notebook with this light pink little oval on top so you can write the subject of this notebook which is great. I think this is so nice and just classic. This notebook also has very thin paper, which I don't like, but again, what can you do? So I just got two of these. Now the fifth notebook is this one. It looks like this is kind of like a lavender color um, on camera, but it's more like just a blue tone pink, almost lavender, kind of purpley, but it looks like this and it's got this kind of damask print, if you can see. It's really pretty. It's like Oh my god, it's so nice. And by the way, all of these notebooks have a plastic uh, front, which I really like. And the back is like a thicker cardboard for all of these, so that's great. Um, yeah, so damask on the front and then in the back, 
also damask, but it's a cardboard, so it's like a printed damask, if you know what I mean. And this has 240 pages, which is good. I love thick notebooks because my writing is really big and I go through notebooks quite quickly. And yeah, that's why I needed a lot of ruled sheets and notebooks. These are all the notebooks that I purchased. And then my agenda for this year is so pretty. It looks like this. I got this from Indigo. I wanted to order an agenda online, but I didn't think I was gonna get it in time since school is starting in like a week or so, which makes me so sad. But this is what it looks like. It's this beautiful cool tone pink. Like this is my ideal pink shade, I think. And it just says I'm very busy in this um, gold font, like gold kind of slanted font. And the little like closure thing is also gold and sparkly. I think this is so nice. It's a 17th month agenda. So it starts August of this year until December, 2017. Comes with stickers and um, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. Like it's so cute. And I love this agenda because it has huge spaces for like each day, you can tell. And I really like like big spaces because I have so much homework. I go to a private school, I get a lot of homework and next year is grade 11 and it's gonna be super stressful. So I'm gonna have a lot of homework. So I love having these big spaces instead of like the little ones. Cause like I don't have enough room to write. Plus my writing is huge. So yeah. And I wanted that Kate Spade one, but I thought this was so much cuter. Like gold and pink is so cute. And by the way, this was $26. I forgot the prices on most of these things, but they were pretty affordable. So yeah. So that was all I bought for uh, back to school for 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to see like an updated what's in my backpack. If you guys want to see like a plan with me video. I love plan with me videos. They're so fun to watch. If you guys want to see like how I make my notes, any of those back to school or just like school related videos, tell me down below because I would love to film them. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much and I hope you guys all have an amazing back to school and I know a lot of you guys already went back to school so hope you guys are doing great in school and getting good marks. But yeah, love you guys. Bye!